coming up hat comes to us all the way from Norway. It's a big winner in the art of magic, including five-time Norway champion, five-time uh, Nordic champion, and a finalist on Norway's Got Talent. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Rune Carlson! <laughs> Guy, so uh, are we having a nice time at the castle? Yeah! So let's make it even more magical and colorful, shall we? Now, before I get started, is there anyone in the audience that has some kind of phobia? I mean, cats, dogs, heights, uh, ex boyfriends, I don't know. Oh dear. Crickets. What is crickets? Oh, yeah. That's, that's a good one. That will work. So, crickets. Because I, uh, I have this little creature from Norway. I mean, thing, sorry. Um, so, could you hold your hand like this? A little bit higher. Okay, perfect. So, um, and be very gentle because he didn't eat today, so. <laughs> so, and no sudden move, okay? So, uh, careful, okay? <laughs> She's not gonna move. put it inside. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just a joke. It's just a Rubik's Cube. Okay? So, yes. You know, all magicians ask you to uh, sign their cards and coins and stuff, right? So, what's your name? Nikisa. Nikisa. Would you like to sign my cube? Sure. So, could you please sign it in the middle? Like this? Yeah, perfect. And while she's doing that, well, we'll be waiting. <laughs> so, I have a little heart over there as well. Perfect. And there, your phone number as well. <laughs> you gotta try right on Norwegian, so yeah. <laughs> so, we got, uh, was it Nikisa? Nikisa. Nikisa. Sign a signature on the Rubik's Cube. Probably the first time you sign a Rubik's Cube, right? Yeah. So, your job today, Nikisa, is to make sure that this cube stays inside this bag for the rest of the show. Are you ready for the event? Yeah. And what's your name? Bill. Yeah. Can you make sure Bill doesn't touch the cube. Yes. Okay. And your name? Puna. And Puna. Okay. okay, good. So make sure the cube stays in the bag at all times. Perfect. Now, uh, what's your name, sir? Alexi. Alexi. Have you met before? No. Okay. So I brought something for you as well. And that is this one. Okay. Uh, basically, it's two things. Okay. So uh, first, we got this one, which is uh, what we call in Norway is the shuffle Rubik's Cube, <laughs> <laughs> or the night there. It all depends. So uh, I have this one, but I heard you were coming. So I also brought you this one. It's a little bit easier. It is uh, this one. So now it's all up to you. Do you want to use the soul cube or the mix cube? This is more like for kids, okay? But you know, you know, it's up to you. The mix cube. Now this is a really good cube, okay? So it's up to you. Can I mix one? I'm interested. You want to do a mix one? That's okay. They got a So the mix one, it goes like that. Yeah, this one. That's a really good choice, by the way. Really good. You know why? We never had the soul one. Oh. What? 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 No! Oh, by the way. <laughs> what? So, well, I got your attention, right? Oh so, gosh. now people tend to ask me, hey, when did you start with Hubie? Well, I was like nine years old. And so, it's many years ago. And uh, basically back then, it was kind of hard to, to solve the cube because uh, we didn't have uh, YouTube. And, uh, and, but I was quite you know, creative at that time, nine years old. And so I thought, um, you know, when you buy the cube, it's all sold, right? But you play around with it, and it gets, gets all mixed up. What if you could just create a time machine? You could put a mixed cube inside the time machine, you travel back in time, and you have a small <coughs> cube. That would be nice, right? Yeah. <coughs> okay, so imagine this. Name again. Alexi. Alexi. Now imagine a big uh, kind of watch around me, okay? Like an analog big watch with hands. So if I have a cube in this position, what's the time? 12 o'clock. Very good. <laughs> yeah. So 12 o'clock, a number here? 3 o'clock. And? 6 o'clock. And? 9 o'clock. Good. Uh, 
at all. <laughs> and if you travel back in time like this, what's the time left? No. And by the way, what the heck? By the way, it's not no way, it's Norway. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. So, so, so basically, um, when you when you when you want to start to uh, solve a cube. Uh, in the beginning, it goes kind of slow, you know? You need to learn all, how all these parts move around, so it goes more or less like this, and you're looking at it, and you try to figure out how it all affects each other. Now, when you get the hang of it, you can start to move this pretty fast, right? This is what we call speed cubing. Now, eventually, you can take any cube, and you can just look at it, and you can take it like this, and you can throw it up in the air, and what happens is... Oh, like, so it's so oh, 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 so now let's see, do we know anything about cubing? Anything at all? Not really. So I will teach you something. It has six sides. <laughs> it has six colors. So uh, let's see, I want to turn around the cube or uh, turn around the cube like this. And whenever you want, I want you to just call up the word stop. Sounds fair? So you look at my back turn to you like this. So just say stop whenever you want. Stop. Okay, remember this color? Yes. Okay, perfect. Take the cube and shuffle it as much as you want. So while he's shuffling the cube, I'm gonna tell you a couple of things about Ruby's cube. Now, okay, if you're thinking of a color, and you can probably see your color all, of, all over the cube. Perfect, great. <laughs> and could you also please make sure that this is a completely normal, magical napkin. <laughs> you happy? Yes, sir. Normal, perfect. And could you please uh, cup your hands? Perfect. And I want you to hold the cube and make sure it stays just in your hands. Perfect. Now, think of your color. And imagine the cube, as you said, you saw all the colors over the cube. And the color you're thinking of, imagine this color start to move around on the cube. And all these pieces with your color collect on one side. They all gather on one side. Now you're thinking of one color. Which color are you thinking of again? Green. Green. Okay. And you saw the color all over the cube, and you mix the cube as well. Okay, so, um, by the way, can you see the color green? You sure? Can you see the color over here? Can you see it here? Oh my god. Or here. Because you imagine one color collecting one side. Okay, would you do a stage as well? Please give me a big round of applause. I'd like you to uh, take a cube a little bit further over there and just so, uh, mix the cube as much as you want. Now, while he's mixing, uh, mixing, I'm just gonna give you a couple of facts about the Rubik's cube. Now, what he's doing? Well, he's mixing, but what he's really doing is just creating some kind of pattern on the cube. Now, if I told Alexi to stop, this pattern is one unique pattern out of 43 quintillion possible different combinations, right? So it's a kind of complicated little toy. But continue to, to mix it. Now, what, if you took 43.2 quintillion different cubes in one row, do you know how long that row would be, sir? A few miles. A few miles. Yeah. That's completely wrong. <laughs> okay. So, it's going to be 270 light years out in space. So it's like, yeah. Uh, are you finished, by the way? I'm finished. Okay. So just uh, to uh, summarize a little bit. So you mix your cube. I also have one cube. Uh, if you want to change, you can change even more if you want. Okay. Uh, because you if you change, you're going to change the future. Okay. Oh, you did that one? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> are, you, are you happy? Are you happy? Okay. Get out of the cube. So, uh, Alexi has one cube, and I have another cube. Now, what are the chances that these cubes are the exact same match you know, on all sides? Oh it's impossible, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, watch. Uh, one side. Why? <laughs> Two sides. No. Three no. sides. Wait, what? Four sides. Oh. Five sides. All six sides. Wow. Thank you. And of course, when you have someone shuffle the cube, it's all about solving the cube later, right? Now, let's say you shuffle the cube, and when you want to uh, solve the cube, all you need to do is look at the cube and see if you recognize any patterns. 
And then we try to calculate which algorithms solves the cube the fastest way. Give big and big applause as well. Thank you so much. Where are you from? Here. Here? The Magic Castle, you born here? <laughs> okay, could you take it to your cube as well and shuffle it as much as you want as well? And I bet there's a couple of you that really want to know how to solve a cube, right? Yeah. 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 You want to learn it? Yeah. Let's hear it! Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm going to teach you the most easy way to solve a cube. Okay, so what you need to do is uh, find someone that shuffles the cube really well, and uh, then you go to Walmart. That's <laughs> true. And uh, you should finish. Okay, and you go to Walmart and you buy blue paper bags, and it's really important that they are blue. Okay, so um, are you okay? Sure. Okay, good. So you bring the blue paper bag and you take uh, the cube and you put it inside the blue paper bag. And then you ask the guy to just uh, uh, take your hand out like this. Perfect, and stand a little bit like this, perfect. Yeah, good. And then you hold the bag like that, straight arms, and move your hand a little bit like this. And then you put your hand in the pocket, and then you move your hips and you start shaking the bag. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> the bag and takes out the only thing in the bag the song oh my god thank you so much thank you thank you you can bring it back and you can practice you know yeah i can say yeah no see uh, you can watch this one yeah okay perfect but one one more thing okay before you go uh because uh, uh what what do you associate with uh, with cubes no, I mean Rubik's cube. <laughs> Ice cubes, yeah, that's okay. Uh, what about you, sir? What do you think about when you see a Rubik's cube? Math. Math. Okay. And, and you? Uh, also. Also, you? Just a square. Just a square. Anything else? Yeah. Colors. Colors. Good. Now, could you, by the way, cup your hands like this? Perfect. Because yesterday there was this woman over here, and she said, "Well, I'm thinking about color, uh, about food." And I said to her, "Now, what kind of food do you eat?" And she said, well, I love candy. And I was like, wow, what kind of candy? And she said, um, uh, Skittles, yeah, Skittles. And I thought, wow, and if you could take any Rubik's Cube and just change it into Skittles, that would be nice. <laughs> back in time, I asked someone in the audience to, uh, to sign a Rubik's Cube. I asked her to make sure no one touches this cube, <coughs> sorry, this cube, right? Sorry. The skip is called right here. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for that. Now, did anyone touch the cube? No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Uh, is the cube still inside? Yes. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Could I have the cube? Perfect. Now, would you be surprised if this cube now is gone? I would. You would, right? Yeah. 
So would I. <laughs> that would have been good, right? Next year, next year. I would you be surprised if your signature is gone? What if I change that signature to the Rubik's Cube logo? What if I took the cube and just vanished it? Wow. Because this cube never existed. Now she's thinking, where's the cube? <laughs> well, you know what? I have a surprise for you, okay? I brought a present for you all the way from Norway. It's not Salomon, but anyway. Uh, so I have uh, the. This is what we normally call uh, a cube in a jar. A Rubik's cube in a jar. jar. It doesn't get out, it doesn't get in. Not out, not in. Even if you take off the lid, it doesn't get out, cannot get in. Now you sign the cube, right? With your signature and a heart. No. <laughs> this is your sign. Wow. So, as I said, this is my present for you. You take it home, show it to everyone in the break, and uh, and uh, tell them all about that fantastic movie. Thank you so much. Give it a big Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? This is kind of this was the ending of the show. Oh, sad, right? Well, since you've been such a great audience, I have one more, if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So, um, keep in mind this: that all the magicians at the castle, they really love your enthusiasm. Okay. Now, I know half of you, you look or you envy or admire ma magicians. The other half, how can I say this? Um, you look at magicians like uh, morons, or <laughs> at least cheaters. But that's okay, because we are a little bit different. Because why did we spend so much time learning something as peculiar as magic? I mean, hours and days, weeks and months, year after year, practicing coins and cards and rubber bands and sponge balls and <laughs> rabbits and doves and illusions and a Rubik's Cube. A Rubik's Cube. Now, I remember my first Rubik's Cube. I was nine years old. There was no internet, so uh, yes, I'm that old. But uh, there were books. But I couldn't read. So how do you solve a Rubik's Cube? Well, I did it as everyone else did. I removed the stickers. <laughs> you don't have to pretend you didn't do this, Alexa, because you did. Everyone else did it as well. So we had all the stickers, but we did also have this one, a total black Rubik's Cube without any stickers. And if you look at this cube, it's, it's kind of solved because it has the same color on every side, right? But that wasn't good enough for me. So I took all the stickers and glued them back on to the cube. And I solved my very first Rubik's Cube. I was nine years old, super happy, super proud. Um, but it was a little bit of cheating, but you know, I was super happy. Now, when I think about it, it was some kind of confirmation that I finally managed to create something in my life. Maybe even in a period of my life where uh, confirmations meant more to me that I, than, I, than I knew. Because some magicians, we perform magic because it's uh, fun, it's challenging. Others perform magic because it gives them some kind of comfort or even maybe a therapy in the everyday life. Now, regardless of reason, what everybody here today could just accept that real magic really exists, at least for a couple of seconds. 
What if all the stickers went in to a bag? And uh, the black cube without the stickers also went into the bag. Now, how would real magic look like in your fantasy? Blue bag. <laughs> Let's travel back. I was nine years old and I saw my very first Rubik's Cube. Wow! <laughs>